Uh, yeah, JD79 here. Um, we're going to be talking about, um, first of all, my response to Alpha Omega Sins. Yeah, we brought this thing up over here. And like, and Nintendo basically reacted negatively to this site. says, oh, I want to get, take this site down because, oh, there's things. And I don't want to have any more things over here. And um, I think, yeah, I'm not going to have Nintendo, but Nintendo needs to understand um, like, they don't want, oh, Nintendo doesn't want any level editors in their games. Really? Nintendo, um, yeah, this is what we're going to be talking about, and we're going to be talking about Full Screen Mario website and what the, what it is here. It's basically, it's a website that's called, created by this college kids here, um, who want to be able to take Mario and take up to the whole new levels. And, um, Nintendo doesn't want that, because, oh, it's copyright infringement here for a freaking 30, going on 40-year-old now. I mean, it's going to be 38, 39-year-old game here. Like, really? Um, yeah, it's gonna, yeah, um, it's, basically the site is, I like to play the 32 Mario games here. I haven't gotten, uh, I haven't gotten to fullscreenmario.com yet, but it's going to, it's got to a Nintendo, the Nintendo theory. But, what Nintendo needs to understand is that we're living in the 21st century. Um, and on top of that, um, Nintendo refuses to, cre to incorporate levels on uh, level editor or some sort of track editor for the new Mario game coming out, Mario 3D Land game coming out, and also for Mario Kart 8. And, um, yeah. Nintendo. Yeah, I understand about copyright, <laughs> copyright like over here, but really, uh, we're going to. I'm taking a look at this. I, I'm taking a look at this, and I'm like, this is what Nintendo needs to do. This is what you know the the level editor part is what Nintendo need to do. And what they should, and what they should have done right now is add a level editor in more in the new Super Mario Brothers here. Um, they did add a level editor in the past here, but. The basic thing is that, um, is that Nintendo, the, the thing is that Nintendo, um, or few, Nintendo, uh, did have level editors before in, uh, let me see, um, uh, Wrecking Crew and Nuts and Milk, um, a couple of these games have level editors here, and they were pretty good. I still remember the days, um, back in Duke Nukem 3D when I had to build the main f the main thing I love Duke Nukem 3D for the PC is it came with a built-in level editor called Build that actu actually was a separate program that came with a disc here. Um, you basically um, people created their own and uploaded through the internet. Um, you download it. Yeah, remember the map files and they, they created here uh, Duke Nukem. I can remember downloading the map files and then playing them on my PC, um, downloading them and playing them on PC for Duke Nukem 3Ds. Um, nowadays you have Little Big Planet, and what you have, and uh, what the reason why I enjoy it is because I can you know, just go to the community, download the level editor, and play it here. Uh, Microsoft has released this. Microsoft has released the uh, program called Project Spark, and it, <laughs> Spark, and um, yeah, I kind of it was it was like fascinating to me, despite the fact it's in the Xbox One. Um, and and yeah, but Nintendo uh, nowadays they don't want level editors, and I think what's happening is that they're really killing them. The, Nintendo is gonna really you know um, kill themselves here. But as much as this college pro, uh, professor is here, um, this um, this site here which um, wants to. The site, um, which allows this, and the highlight of the site to, um, of this thing I hear is that they can create level editors. They actually have a level generator that actually has computer generated levels here, and um, and has the ability to design their own. And I think what Nintendo needs to do is they need to, Nintendo needs to wake up. All right, Nintendo um, needs to get serious about user generated content, and. Um, you need to get user-generated content. I think Microsoft and Sony has now 
uh, push user-generated content towards consoles. Sony has done that, um, oh, yeah, like, three, four, five years ago, four years ago, um, with Little Big Planet 1. Isn't it time for Nintendo to get, to get into the fact right now? Yeah, it's 2013, Nintendo. These people who created the website demonstrated that what demonstrated that hey we want use generated content and um, on top of that yeah there are plenty of emulators online and for and, and ROM hacking like this like like this here and I still remember that one person uh, taking the ROM and making Super Mario Forever which is impossible like this and the peep and I'm gonna tell you something the people who made the site are far ahead of you Nintendo but oh we're gonna we're back in 1985 we want to be able to um, we want to stay back here we could provide we are the only ones that provide you for the levels I don't want people making any more levels and like this now yeah, Nintendo, yeah, I mean, it's certainly with their rights to take it down, but you have to realize, Nintendo, it's not 1985 anymore. Times have changed. Sony's um, Media Molecule and um, has demonstrated that, hey, we're in the 21st century, gaming's going 2.0, but really, I think it's time for Nintendo to look at this and say, look, we want to create our own levels. Um, I've actually, and this is not my first rant over here. I mean, I've ranted and ranted about this before. Why doesn't Mario Kart hate have a track editor? And why doesn't Super Mario 3D Land have a level editor? Come on. It's really time, to, you know, yeah, it's really, really time to um, get with it. Let them create their own levels. I mean, um, like... <laughs> play Mario the way I like to play Mario and um, well that's all I have to say um, about full screen Mario um, well JD out uh, Nintendo Christ